We've arrived! After 11 days at sea, we're here. We're in Jakari, which is a tiny little village near to Cabadelo, and it's in the province of Paraiba in North Brazil. Here we are, this is uh, the Jakari Yacht Village Marina and this is their uh, sort of area for the cruisers. Um, nice relaxing area, we're going to do a little bit of internet and uh, catch up with what's been going on in the world while we've been out of touch for the last uh, 11 days. In our last video we showed you some of these fires which we saw as we entered the river in Cabadello and we asked if anybody knew what they were. This is where they're burning off the sugarcane fields just before they harvest the sugarcane. It gets rid of all the leaves and it also scares away any nasty animals that might be lurking there like snakes and things. We're at Jacare Beach and I think I've said it right this time, we've had our knuckles well and truly wrapped for mispronouncing everything when we first got here. Anyway, we've come to hear the Bolero, which is what Jacare Beach is famous for. There's a fella who comes here every night and plays his saxophone to enter to attain all the tourists. And I say tourists, but it's all Brazilian tourists. This is a sort of little resort where a lot of um, Brazilians come to take their holidays. Beautiful beaches here and an ideal spot to watch the sunset. So each evening a ton of people show up here in buses, cars and whatever and all the locals uh, come out to help them park their cars, tell them where to go and try and sell them boat trips if possible. So Jacare Beach is a little tourist trap and it's full of touristy, gifty shops actually with some really nice stuff in them and at really reasonable prices too. We might come home with a couple of souvenirs for ourselves. Jacare actually means alligator in Portuguese. On our little map it's listed as alligator beach. I think the alligators have long gone apart from the ones that have been put here specifically for the tourists and you'll see a bunch of them all around town. Well, it's quite packed here tonight. Uh, it's unbelievable. At one o'clock in the afternoon we came through and it was a, just a ghost town. Nobody about, nothing going on, no signs that it was going to be full of all these people. Just to see that.
going to Rivera. Rivera is the village on the other side of the village. After the army. This is the Ceará, man. Viado Brasileiro. Well, this place here, this is Ribeira. Ostras, Twitter. What the hell you call that in English? Ostras. Oyster. Oyster. We're wandering through the, the village. Look at the size of that. Hotels, todos, no. Ah, todos bonitinhos, eh? <laughs> and I'll be in Brazil before you. So here we are in the Brazilian jungle and we are hunting monkeys and we have a big monkey in the tree behind me and this is a very rare species of monkey. It's called a Swiss monkey. You have to be very quiet, otherwise he will be disturbed. You can see him there. Look at those arms and the legs. It's easy, no, it's just there. <laughs> and you walk hours and hours and hours, it never comes in the river. And when you arrive, it's just like some water like this. Ah. <laughs> Look, ladies and gentlemen, this is the river. Go. <laughs> oh, it's uh, very nice to eat. Yeah. And you see, when from outside you don't see the fruits, nothing. Yeah. And the flower, it's very nice. It's carnival week here in uh, Brazil and uh, yesterday we went to Alinda, to, uh, just north of Recife, uh, to see their carnival and today it's Jakari's turn, it's our local carnival. So we're going to see what, uh, what they've got to offer and they've been busy all day getting ready. So let's go and have a look, see what they're doing. <laughs> Watch out, boy, I'll go look at
So we've just come off of the pontoon at Jakari Marine Village over there um, after being there for three weeks and one of the problems that we knew we were going to get was they don't supply slime lines for your uh, tying down to their chain you have to supply your own lines very reluctant to do this because I knew the result was going to be two completely ruined lines these are two of our our longest lines um, which we like to keep fairly clean so that we can use those when we need and uh, and the problem now is these lines you know they're a couple of hundred pounds a time and they're more or less totally ruined and for the price that you pay for staying at Jakari Marine they should really supply uh, a decent uh, slime line for you they should also supply a decent uh, pontoon the pontoon is extremely dangerous and you do have to be careful walking down it at night it, you wouldn't mind if uh, if it was a cheap marina but it's not it's northern european prices for south american quality So how many jackarays did you spot in this video? Give us your answers in the comments down below and we'll tell you the right number next week. I tell you, I've been very sneaky. You have to watch carefully to catch them all. Thanks for watching this episode of Brazil and Beyond. And don't forget, subscribe and click the little bell icon. It really, really helps us produce these videos. Don't forget to look out for the next episode where we see some amazing prehistoric stones. Also, we'll be travelling to a local market, checking out some of the beaches.